Hi, I'm Candice Pereira and I ran Marry Me The Wedding Planners and Marry Me The Store with my partner. We treat every wedding as if it's our own, bring together the best of international trends while still keeping your traditions alive and we try and make every wedding as unique as we can. So this is my workspace and this is where I usually begin my day. This is my mood board which actually inspires me every day so I start with looking through here and pinning up stuff that I personally love. So one of them which is Trista and Ryan's wedding up here in the corner which was back in 2003 when I was studying in Canada. It was planned by the most fabulous wedding planner uh, who's based in the US and um, you know she, uh, the decor and everything was absolutely perfect and I have that um, wedding actually recorded to date. So that wedding actually inspired me to do what I'm doing today. So I usually start my day checking emails, reply to everyone, schedule an appointment. I have a meeting this afternoon with a bride, so I'm going to go down to my magazine stand, pick out some ideas and uh, put it together for her. So I'm sitting here with Ronella right now, who's getting married shortly, and we're going to go through some um, areas of her wedding. So we'll begin with her invite. With your invite, it depends on how many inserts you want to have. You see something like this, which has four inserts in different colors and a band to hold them together. Here with the theme, we had the tree, the birds and the lotus, which was running through the entire invite. Here's something with not so much color, but a paisley theme. So it's very important to have a theme running through your entire wedding. So whatever little area you pick, maybe it might just be a paisley or two little birds or whatever it could be, but have it running throughout your wedding. So it just looks a lot more finished and um, like a lot more attention to detail has been given to the entire wedding. These are some floral arrangements that I've done up for a bride for her main the event that's coming up so she gets a better idea of what the event will look like. We have a vintage glam high tea uh, that we're working on. So we've used very interesting vases. Instead of using the typical glass, clear glass vases, we've used jugs, watering cans, other pots, and they all have a beautiful print on it, which gives it a very quirky vintage feel. The current trend with flowers right now is uh, very mismatched flowers. So you can see we've used the lilies, the roses, chrysanthemums, we've used lots of fillers. It just glams up the whole event automatically. I've got to pick out some giveaways for the bride. So I'm now going to move to my store, Marry Me The Store, where I'm going to pick some of them out. In keeping with the high tea, I think something that would be absolutely perfect would be a set of coasters. We've got lots of different designs, so you can ensure that everyone gets something different. Apart from that, we have, you know, mainly packaging, which you see at a lot of mainly's these days, or just a simple little pouch like this, which is still very pretty, and you can put chocolates in that. When I tell people that I'm a wedding planner, they always think that it's very exciting and very glamorous, which of course it is but there's extremely stressful and uh, tiring bits to the job too. On the wedding date itself, you're usually on your feet for anywhere close to like 15 or 16 hours. Uh, right from setup to breakdown, which is definitely not very glamorous. You'd have to be extremely dedicated, um, very organized, um, very patient as well, and just stay on top of things. And all of this put together has put me where I am today, and this is what makes me fab and fearless.